In this video, we are going to see how to send WhatsApp message to students on learner school's enrollment on Razorpay payment. So basically, let's say that you're using Razorpay as a payment gateway. So every time a customer has made payment for a particular course through Razorpay, then automatically that person should be added as a learner in Learnist, which is an online teaching application. Once that happens, then the person should also receive a message on WhatsApp talking about the new course enrollment. How can that happen? For this, you will have to set up some integration between the three applications. And the same thing can be done using Public Connect software. Here, your trigger application would be Razorpay and your action application would be WhatsApp. Now, how can you do this yourself? Integrate and automate this entire process. To understand that, let me take you to my screen. To begin with the process, we are first going to type the URL pavli.com slash connect. And as we do that, here we have reached the landing page of this software. On the right hand side, you can see two options, sign in and sign up for free. So if, if you already have an account with us, simply sign in. If you are a new user, click on this tab, sign up. It won't take more than two minutes. And also at the time of account creation, you will get 100 free tasks. Now I'm going to click on sign in as I'm an existing user over here. And here we have reached the all applications page. So we are going to click on access now for Public Connect as we are doing this integration using this software. So I'm going to click on access now. And now we have reached the dashboard of this application. On the right hand side, you can see another tab, create workflow. So let's click on this and a dialog box has appeared which is asking us to name this workflow. Now here my objective is that every time there is an enrollment through Learnist of a particular student to a particular course, then a message should be sent on WhatsApp to that particular student talking about the successful enrollment. So I'm going to name it as WhatsApp message to students on Learnist course enrollment. Now let's click on create. So as soon as we do that here, we have reached another window which has got two extremely important events. One is trigger, another one is action. Triggers and actions are basically those two principles or concepts on which this entire automation works. Trigger is when this happens and action is do this. Basically action here is the response of our trigger application. Now let's say that we are using a payment gateway. Let it be Razorpay. Now here my objective is that every time a payment is captured through Razorpay by a particular user, so that particular user should be enrolled for the course for which he has made the payment in Learnist and he should be added as a learner there. Now here the trigger event. So this is the event that will make my workflow run. So it should be payment captured. Now here you can see that it is saying that this trigger will instantly capture new incoming data and the workflow execution will start in real time which means that the application has got no polling time. The moment this payment gets captured then automatically the user would be added as a new learner in Learnist. No waiting time. Now here you can see that you have received a webhook URL. This is going to act as a bridge for connecting Pabli Connect and Razorpay so that Public Connect can have access to the information. So I'm going to copy this and then we have to follow the mention steps so that the setup can be connected. So now I'm going to take you to Razorpay. So this is the Razorpay dashboard. Here I'm going to go down and click on settings. As soon as we are here, we are going to go up to webhooks. Now here you can see add new webhook. Let's click on this. I'm going to paste the URL that we have just copied here and then what would be the active event? It would be payment captured. Let's click on create webhook. So here we can see the webhook has been saved successfully. Coming back to Pabli Connect, now it is saying that once you have set up this connection, we have to do a test submission so that the data can be recorded here in the webhook response and we can understand that the integration process is a success. So Taking you back to Razorpay, here we have to go to payment pages. Once we are here, let's say that I wish to make a payment for this particular course, online PHP course for beginners. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this. And now this is the page URL. I'm going to copy this, open this in a new tab. So this is your payment gateway. Now here, let's select the product. This is the product. What's the price? It's 499 rupees. Now what's your full name? So let's say it is new user 123. The email address is new user 123 at pavlitudes.com. Now your WhatsApp number. And if you have a GST number, then you can also provide the same. 
let's click on pay rupees 499 so as soon as i have done that here it has shown me all the payment methods so i'm going to choose card so let's say these are the details and now the cvv number so i'm just going to write a mock number then the otp remember that this is not a genuine otp let's click on submit and as soon as we have done that here we can see that our payment has been made successful taking you back to pabli connect here we have received the api response so what all have we received the entity status is captured as i take you down this is the mobile number then the full name of the person email address and also the name of the product so this is the amount that has been paid now here you can see that it was only 499 rupees but here it is showing 49900 why because there is a little glitch breezer pay does not take decimal into consideration and that is why it is showing this number so now my next objective is that the user who has just made that payment should be added as a learner in learnist but before that we have to make sure that this payment has been captured for a particular course so all the payments captured for this particular course only should be added as a learner in learnist so now i'm going to add an action application here which is a feature by pabli filter now here i'm going to select the name of the course so if i take you down here we have the name of the course now this should be here we have got different options i'm going to make this equal to so if this is equal to now taking you up so this is the product name so i'm going to copy this and then i'm going to paste this over here so basically every time a payment has been captured for this product then only it should be added as a new learner in learnist now i'm going to click on save and send test request so here we can see the condition is true why because yes we have created the payment for this course only now next is i'm going to add another action step here and this time the application would be learnist let's click on this so as soon as the user has made the payment first he has to sign up so this action will register a new learner to your learners platform so we are going to click on this and click on connect so here pabli connect is asking to connect itself with the learners account and to set up this connection we have to click on add new connection and now we need a school id and api key from where can we find this to get the api key and school id navigate to dashboard's left side bar marketing app integration pabli and settings so let me take you to learnist and here i'm going to go to marketing and then integrations once we are here we have to go to pabli and here you can see settings let's click on this and this is our school id and the api key so i'm going to quickly copy this go back to pabli connect paste this over here and then the api key so here again this is the api key i'm going to copy this go back to pabli connect and paste this once done let's click on save so here we can see that public connect is now connected with learnist and now here we have to map the email address of the person so i'm going to click on this and go to step 1 and this here down is the email address of the person now what is mapping what have we just done so mapping is basically that we have got some information in our previous step and we are just going to retrieve it here and why didn't i write this manually because every time the workflow runs there would be new data and if i write this manually it will not capture the new data now let's click on save and send test request and here we can see that we have received the response so this is the email address this is the new name and this is the user id of the person so once we are done with this now we have to enroll the person to that particular course so i'm going to add another action step over here again i'm going to choose the application learnist let's click on this Now the action event here would be paid enrollment. Basically, this action will add a product to the learner with paid access. So I'm going to click on this, click on connect, and I'm going to go ahead with the existing connection by clicking on save. And here we have to map the email address and the course title. So the email address for this I'm going to go to step one, and this here is the email address of the person and the course title. So for this, let me take you back to my learner's account. So this is my learner's account and if i take you to content 
so here we have got courses i already have created two course and this course is online php course for beginners so that has already been created so now i'm going to take you to pably connect and here what is the course title for this again i'm going to go to step one and this is the course title let's click on save and send test request and here we can see that the user has been added to the product with paid access and this is the course id so basically we have successfully finished our integration so where every time a payment is made through razorpay then automatically a user would be created in learnest and then would be added to that particular course now my objective is that i wish to send a whatsapp message to the user who have just registered telling him that he has been enrolled for the course so here i'm going to choose my final application as whatsapp cloud api and the action event here would be to send template message let's click on connect here pably connect is asking to connect itself with whatsapp cloud api account to set up this connection i'm going to select add new connection and then here we have to fill in the following details now from where can we get this for this you have to go to meta for developers page let's go to my applications here i already have created a few application you can create your own by clicking on this create application tab now let's go to one of the applications that i have created let's say it is my connect message app so once we are here on the left hand side you can see whatsapp let's click on this go to getting started and here finally we have everything that we are required to set up the connection so here this is a temporary access token then the phone number id and whatsapp business account id but there is one thing that you really need to remember that this is just a temporary access token which means that if you create your workflow using this token then it will expire in 23 hours which means that your workflow will stop running in a day so this is just a test case so i'm going to go ahead with this you will have to create your permanent access token a dedicated video is given in the description box of this video where you can exactly check out how you can create a permanent access token now i'm going to copy this go back to public connect and paste this over here then we have the phone number id so this is the phone number id copied and pasted and then we have the whatsapp business account id so again we are going to go here copy this and paste this over here once done let's click on save to set up this connection so here we can see that the connection has been set and now we are supposed to map this information mapping basically means that i already have this information in my previous step i'm just going to retrieve it here and what is a template name templates are basically pre-written messages which can be sent to any social media platform basically the thing is that you would not have to write it again and again so once done here we have to select the template so i've already created a template let me show you let's go back to our metaphor developers page here in step two you can see to create your own message template click here so i'm going to click on this and now we are going to look for a particular template that i have created which is course enroll so here we do not have a header if you wish you can always add a uh, any image or video or pdf file now comes the body of this template hello and then you have a number within double curly braces congratulations you have been successfully enrolled for the another number within double curly braces and course kindly visit the course page to access the course thank you regards so this is our template now what are these numbers basically written within double curly braces these numbers are variables that can be changed with every particular message now once done this is how it is going to look hello ashi rai congratulations you have been successfully enrolled for the core php programming course kindly visit the course page to access the course thanks and regards taking you back to pably connect here i'm going to look for the template which we have just checked so what was the template here here the template was course underscore underscore enroll so this is the template and here we have the language code then selected template id now the recipient's mobile number so i'm going to map this click on this go to step one and so this is the mobile number and remember that we have to write the number with the country code and without the plus sign so this is perfect now the body field so i'm going to click on this so this is the name of the person and here we have to enter the name of the course so as i take you down here this is the name of the course 
Now let's click on save and send test request. And here we can see that the API key has been received and now I'm going to take you to my WhatsApp account to see that we have received the message in real. So here you can see that yes, we have received a message. Hello, new user one, two, three, congratulations. And then we have the rest of the message, which basically means that this integration process is a success. But we also need to check this in real time. So I'm going to take you back to Razorpay. And here I'm going to make another payment. So I'm going to copy this URL to a new window. And here again, I'm going to select the course. What's your full name? So let's say this time it is testing123. And your email address is testing123 at pablitudes.com. And here is the WhatsApp number. And then let's pay rupees 499. And now the payment method would be card. Let's fill in the card details, provide the CVV. Let's click on pay now. And here again, the OTP. So I'm going to click on this. And here you can see that the payment has been made successful. So as soon as this payment has been made successfully, what should happen? So first it would check if this is for the same course. And once it is there, then this particular user would be added as a new user in Learnest. So now I'm going to take you to my Learnest account here. Let's check if the user is already a part of this. And yes, we can see testing one, two, three. So we have a user for this. Now I'm going to go back to dashboard. And now I'm going to take you to WhatsApp. And here we can see that yes, we have received another message under the name testing one, two, three, rest of the things remain the same, which basically means that yes, our integration process is a complete success. Now I'm going to take you back to Pabli Connect to understand what we have. So here our trigger application was Razorpay and our trigger event was payment captured. Then we had chosen an application by Pabli, which is, which is filter. So here we had put a filter that if there is a payment made for one particular course, then only this workflow will run. So once this was done, then our third action application was Learnest, where we had signed up for the user. Once that was done, then again, we had chosen our action application as Learnest, where we had looked for paid enrollment. And finally, it was WhatsApp Cloud API where we could send a message. I hope this is extremely easy and absolutely clear to you. If in case you have any doubt, you can refer to the workflow which is given in the description box. You can also clone the same and start to process immediately. Apart from this, if there is any integration that you wish to work on, you can always write to us. Not only this, but you can integrate multiple applications using Pabli Connect software. To ask any of your query, you have to write at forum.pabli.com. You can also visit our website, which is www.pabli.com connect. To get all the details about the latest updates, the integrations and applications, you can visit our Facebook group. If in case you have found this video helpful, then do not forget to share this with your friends and colleagues so that they can also get into automation and make their life easy. I'm going to see you very soon with different integrations and automations. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Take care of yourself.